Once considered one of the world's best airlines, British Airways is still a highly regarded airline, but not like it used to be. So just how good is British Airways in 2024? Today we'll take a look at what it's like to fly on their most common aircraft, the A320, from Paris to London Heathrow. Bonjour and welcome to Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport, the busiest airport in France. This airport has a bit of a reputation, which includes it being a bit difficult to navigate, and it looked like a bit of a maze to me as I arrived. The British Airways check-in was located at check-in section 4 in Terminal 2D near entry slash exit point 6. Thanks to my One World Sapphire status, I was able to use the priority check-in queue. There appeared to be a queue specifically for people who already had boarding passes, which had a shorter line likely because it was just bag drop. The check-in staff were friendly. I was given One World priority baggage thanks to my status, but the priority line wasn't that quick, so thankfully I arrived with plenty of time. Before security, there are shops and restaurants around, but as per usual, I'm heading straight through security, where there was a fast track lane available. Security was quick and pretty automated. Airside here, there's a fair amount of duty free, as well as cafes, restaurants and more shopping that could be done. There's also information boards and kiosks. Before we take a look at the X-Time Lounge, allow me to tell you a bit about this airport and its layout. Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport was opened in 1974 and was the third busiest airport in Europe in 2023 by available seats. CDG, Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport's IATA code, has three terminals, though Terminal 2 is divided into different sections, roughly labelled on screen now. We're currently airside in Terminal 2B. As for how to reach CDG, public transport options include the train and the bus, with the RERB line stopping at multiple major stations in Paris. Taxis and ride-sharing services such as Ubers are also an option, though not cheap in comparison. Now that you know a bit more about this airport, let's take a look at the X-Time Lounge, which I have access to thanks to my One World Sapphire status, as British Airways doesn't currently have its own lounge here. I got to the X-Time Lounge by taking a lift to level 3 just after security. The X-Time Lounge has a low roof, but I found it to be a very nice looking lounge with plenty of plants around and a little bit of art. There's free Wi-Fi and plenty of charging available including French power sockets, or whatever type outlet they use, as well as USB-A and USB-C charging. I think this lounge was only opened in 2022, but I'm not sure if this space was built then or just renovated. In the lounge, some classical kind of jazz music was being played. I've never been to one, but at the time I described the vibe as a French high tea in a hotel lobby. I hope that makes some sense. As for the buffet selection, which I've been showing videos of, it has a very okay selection of food. I particularly appreciated the French crepes, as it was cool to see something French for breakfast rather than just pancakes. The little dots on the window make it more annoying to plane spot, but when moving you can see the plane's alright. I do believe this lounge features shower rooms, but I'm not sure since I didn't check it out. Overall, it's a good lounge, it's a nice space and offers a fair selection of decent quality food. It's not the kind of lounge I would get to the airport particularly early for though. After all, I believe it's an airport operated lounge, so I doubt it would be as good as the temporarily closed cafe lounge I believe BA guests used to be able to use. I was thankful that I left the lounge a little early, as I still had to go through passport control since the UK is not in the Schengen area. Waiting at the gate there is my ride to London. Golf Echo Uniform Uniform Lima is a 2002 built Airbus A320-232, originally meant for Aer Lingus. However, it was not taken up by the airline and British Airways ended up taking delivery of it in 2002 and has had the aircraft ever since. This aircraft is powered by two IAE engines. By the time I got to the gate, boarding had already started a bit early. Boarding appeared to be done by groups, and One World Sapphire gave me priority. Uh, do you need to see my boarding pass? No. Okay. After a pretty uninspiring greeting from the crew, welcome on board British Airways A320CO, featuring 180 B E, now part of Collins Aerospace, pinnacle seats in a 3 3 layout. British Airways appears to have quite a lot of seats in Club Europe, business class with about 12 rows which are the same seats as in economy, but with a blocked middle seat and a little more legroom. Then behind that you'll find the Euro Traveller Cabin, British Airways name for economy class, where I'll be seated today, more specifically in seat 21F. Now let's take a quick look at the seat features. First up, legroom is not good at all for a full service carrier like BA, at 29 inches. There's a seat back pocket, which wasn't the cleanest, containing a safety card and a sick bag, then there's a standard tray table which was pretty dirty, 
both on the tray table itself and the part of the seat back where it's stored. Up here there's a literature compartment containing seemingly just the buy on board menu and on the side of the seat you'll find a coat hook. Underneath the seats in front there's two USB-A ports, so I assume there's four for every three seats. There's a very nice leather looking headrest which can be adjusted both vertically and on the sides. There's also a bit of recline and seat back padding is relatively good. Welcome on board everyone. All customers have now boarded and are about to brief you on the safety procedures of this aircraft. Unfortunately though, I felt as though my seat cushion wasn't quite in the right place, and this seemed to be the case on some other seats too, which was a little uncomfortable. The seats also seemed quite upright. Anyway, before we depart, here's a quick look at the High Life Cafe buy on board menu. The High Life Cafe menu has a nice variety of food and drinks for purchase, at prices that seem decent to me, but it's hard for me to judge. My name is Harry Williams, I'm the first officer captain today is Captain Pete Bonington. Well, thanks for boarding so promptly. Uh, we do have about 10 minutes uh, to go before we will be allowed to push back, so uh, we can expect to wait on stand here for another 10 minutes. Uh, then we'll get going, uh, expecting again a 10 minute taxi out of here, taking off today in a westy direction. Uh, we're, sorry, in an easterly direction with a left turn off of our track, climbing up to our cruise altitude of 24,000 feet. Uh, we just flown in and experienced very uh, the smooth flight conditions en route, so we're expecting much the same on the return journey. With that in mind, we should be able to uh, get the seatbelt signs off around about 10 minutes into the flight. So expect 10 minutes waiting on stand, and uh, then we'll get going. I'll get back to you once again in the cruise, we'll update arrival time into Heathrow and the latest as well. Thank you. It's now time for pushback four minutes early. Whilst the cabin crew take their positions for the safety briefing, please can we remind you. Smoking, including e-cigarettes, vaping, and the use of any other smoking devices is not permitted at any time whilst on board from any aircraft that you've flown on before. Please check that your seatbelt is fastened securely and warn whenever the seatbelt signs are on. To inflate, pull the red toggle. The air can be topped up by using this mouthpiece. The whistle and light can be used to attract attention. Please study the safety card in your seat area before we depart. It's now time for takeoff on runway 09 right. London Heathrow Terminal 5. We are pleased to be launching 
our free onboard Wi-Fi messaging service for all our executive club members. We will shortly be commencing our onboard cabin service for those of you seated in our Club Europe cabin. We'll be offering you a light meal and drinks from the bar and for those of you seated in our Euro Traveller cabin, we'll be offering you a complimentary bottle of water and a snack. We invite you now to sit back, relax and enjoy the hospitality of British Airways. Thank you. Not long after takeoff, the crew came around with a basket of snacks, followed by bottled water. Should have your stand a few minutes after that at uh, 1035, uh, which will put us nicely ahead of schedule. Weather on the ground in London, bit of a wet day, uh, light winds, and currently 7 degrees. That's everything from me right now. There were three options for snacks. One was more suitable for people with dietary requirements, one was salt and vinegar crunch nibbles, and the other was mini cookies. The bottled water I expected but I was not expecting the snacks for such a short flight. Along with the water, I was able to get both the mini choc chip cookies and the salt and vinegar crunch nibble things, both of which were very nice. Seatbelt signs will be switched on in approximately 10 minutes time. To help us prepare for landing, please get your now gather or your parts of the belongings ready to be put away. If you wish to dispose of any ways, then please hand this to a member of the crew who will be passing through the cabin shortly. Thank you. Let's take a quick look at British Airways Wi-Fi portal. There's free messaging available for executive club members, otherwise you can pay for that, or if you want browsing and streaming as well, that's also available. Both Wi-Fi packages for purchase are available at what is, in my opinion, very cheap prices compared to what I've seen on other airlines, even for a short flight. The Wi-Fi portal also offers a free digital magazine to view, among other things. You appear to be able to use some functions on BA's website, such as upgrades. Slight delay, just only about 10 minutes of holding uh, before we can make an approach. So uh, you arrive on time estimated uh, about 10.35 and uh, hopefully we will stand about uh, 10.45, five minutes ahead of schedule. That's a bit from me and I'll speak to you once again on the ground. Thank you. I appreciated this update via the PA from the pilots. I found the PA announcements to be the good on this flight. Now switched on the fasten seatbelt signs as we will shortly be landing at London Heathrow. Please now return to your seat and make sure that all of your personal belongings are safely put away in the overhead lockers or under the seats in front of you. Earlier on, I forgot to mention that this aircraft does have overhead adjustable air vents. I think it makes more sense for me to do a full conclusion at the end of my next flight. But in short, overall I had a nice flight with British Airways, with some things bad and some things great. One thing I will say, in the air the crew were perky and super friendly, but why not on the ground? Anyway, now enjoy the rest of the approach and landing on London Heathrow Airport's runway 9 left. Bridge hasn't started. 
start to move it yet, but hopefully in the next few minutes it will start moving to the forward left hand side uh, and then you'll be able to disembark. On behalf of all the team here at British Showways, hope you had a wonderful flight. Hope to see you very soon. Thank you. By the way, disembarking in London took a little while. I'd like to take this time to thank you all so much for watching today's video. A like and subscription if you enjoyed would help the channel grow and I would really appreciate it. But if you don't want to, that's okay too. Feel free to check out my Instagram if you like, at aviation763 underscore, where I post updates of my trips. I'd like to extend a huge thank you to all of my incredible Patreons for helping to make these videos possible. Their support is truly so much appreciated and I couldn't do what I do without them, so thank you so much to them. Once again, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I look forward to hopefully seeing you in my next one next Saturday at 5pm Melbourne time.